Oh, speaking of Big Dame. How you doing today, sir? Doing all right, doing all right. Let me go ahead and get that breakfast toaster, number 14. Also, let me have uh, the number 16, the French right, toast sticks. What was that? Did you want the number 14 with fries or tots? Let me get tots with that. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, it's your man, man, Dan Josh, back again with another super office show. Review King Dick Baby, and I know you can't hey listen man. So uh yeah, a lot of you been like, dang, what are you doing with your life? And I'm like, what do you mean what am I doing with my life? I'm over here parlaying, chilling, you know, what I do. You're like, nah, you didn't even go to Sonic yet. I'm like, Sonic, you're right, I didn't go to Sonic yet. So I'm playing with your emotions. Well, not today. We're gonna change all that right now. You know why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up. Much respect to the Sonic for giving me my receipt and everything and your little side advertisement. Thanks for visiting. How was your experience? Well, uh, 877-219-SONIC. I'm going to let you know how my experience was. Don't think I'm not going to call later. Mm-hmm. We're going to start with my French toast sticks, man. Let's see. Grab myself a little bit of their uh, thick and rich Sonic syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, snap that top back. Real easy, like. Don't wanna, don't wanna get you know syrup all over the studio. <laughs> uh. All right now. Whoa, whoa, easy. Stay with me. Stay on the French toast stick. Stay on the French toast stick. All right, so as far as the Sonic French Toast Stick, yeah, light crisp, subtle hint of sugar. Make sure you definitely have your, your Sonic flavored syrup popping off and, and you're dunking in there real well like a straight dunking, you know? Yeah, let, me, let me show you how to properly dunk your French Toast Sticks. Let me, let's bring you in right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to spill that, trying to spill that. And you just, you know, you just... Get up in there, just ooh. You know, you see the syrup trying to ooze out the top. Look at, this, look at the syrup doing this one, two, three. Yeah, baby, yeah. And just mm -hmm, pull it back, turn it, turn it. You want to make sure you get it all up on um, the French toast stick, man. And you just uh, take that to the wig. On the French toast stick rating of one to ten, I'm going to say, Sonic, you get a six and a half from me. Yeah, you get a six and a half. It wasn't overly banging, you know. French toast stick, I, I want more sugar. I want more sugar happening. I need a, it needs to be a little softer. I'm thinking French toast in the back of my mind. French toast stick, I need it to be as close to French toast as possible. And if my French toast isn't crispy, I probably won't want my stick crispy either. Is that cool? Can you dig what I'm saying to you, baby? I don't need a hard, nappy shell on a French toast stick if the French toast that I make at home when I decide to cook, though I never decide to cook, I always have wifey do it. Mm -hmm. But if it's soft, if I'm loving it, if the cinnamon and sugar are in full effect, and I have my Aunt Jemima syrup going on, Aunt Jemima, what's up? Been rocking with you. I've been rocking with you since the do rag boo boo, even though you got the perm now. Yes. You know, I want it to be as close in translation to the French toast that I know. I ordered the breakfast toaster, you know, just to see what it's all about. Now, I see that they have it. Wrapped up with love inside of what I like to call the let's let's keep the heat tucked in real tight in our in our heated foil casing. And I can dig that. I can dig that. I, I appreciate that. You don't give me a cold sandwich, you know. I like that. More locations need to start doing this. If you want to keep the heat sealed in to something that's supposed to be hot, get the foil, make that happen. Seal in the juice, seal in the freshness, make it tight, make it right, and deliver it to your customers with satisfaction guaranteed every time, baby. Let's travel the breakfast toaster together. Definitely have the bread happening. Buttered to slight perfection. The egg, the egg's not that rubbery egg that certain locations have. I won't <laughs> shout you out. But you know who you are with that rubbery egg that nobody ever really wants, so we just stop ordering it. So the egg looks like it's happening. The cheese is in full effect. The bacon isn't extra crispy, but it's, it's hard. It's hard. So um, out of bacon crisp, let's go ahead and give the bacon a 
<laughs> another six and a half piece. I love extra crispy bacon. I don't know what it is. It's just me. And I know it's you too. Stop playing. Let's get into the sandwich. Is that the egg tasting like soap? Oh no, daddy. No, no, daddy. I had to cleanse the powder. Maybe it was something that was left over from the French toast stick. I'm gonna hit this one more time. I'm gonna give y'all another chance to redeem yourself. I know you don't give me no egg tasting like soap. <laughs> Sonic, you just messed up breakfast for a brother. You, I hope there's a Dunkin' Donuts somewhere around here. I need a McDonald's, I, Burger King. Sonic, your breakfast toaster has an aftertaste that is ridiculous. That aftertaste was so nasty. I thought that you just mixed my stuff and infused it with Dawn dishwasher soap. Like... I'm not washing dishes inside my mouth. My teeth are already clean. I didn't need the soap, baby. I took a shower, I smell good. Why the funky aftertaste? Did any of you taste your own sandwich? Did you taste your sandwich before you brought it to me? Oh, I'm mad as hell right now. Sonic, Wallingford, Connecticut. If you don't take that funky behind breakfast toaster off your menu and stop serving people morning soap, you and I got issues right now. I'm not even rocking with you. I don't even want the rest of these funky behind French toast sticks. <clears throat>